Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about our Tadalafil and Sildenafil trochees. I figured since last month I did speak on the sexual health of women, I figured this month we should touch base with the sexual health of men as it's kind of a mute subject nowadays. So if you don't know what a trochee is, it is a lozenge. So therefore you do not have to swallow it. You don't have to chew it. You don't have to do anything. You just basically place it under your tongue, let it melt, does its thing. So the active ingredients in it are sildenafil as well as tadalafil. So I'll kind of give you a little story about those. So sildenafil, which is the generic version of Viagra, actually has an onset time of about an hour. But since it is in a lozenge form and we are compounding it, it is a little more direct. So you might see effects a little bit sooner than that one hour. It does have a peak of about one to two hours, but also a duration of about two to four hours. Now you're probably thinking, well, why do I have two separate ED meds in one medication? So Tadalafil, which is Cialis, has an onset time of about an hour as well, maybe sooner since it is a compounded you know, lozenge, but it has a peak of about 75 to 90 minutes, but has a duration of up to 36 hours. So the Cialis actually is going to extend the time that your erection is present. So with the combination of both of these, it just, it's a more souped up Viagra is exactly how I like to explain it. So Cialis does not actually directly cause an erection. There's a lot of science behind it, a lot of big words. So bear with me here. So it actually involves the release of nitric oxide to the corpus cavernosum. <laughs> In other words, the erectile tissue forming the majority of the penis. So which in turn, that does cause more blood flow to the area during sexual stimulation. So even though you have Viagra, it doesn't do as much as the Cialis will do. The Cialis will kind of naturally let your body produce its own blood flow and therefore causes the erection. Some benefits to switching to the trochees. One, it's much more discreet. You don't have that little blue pill that you have to take. You know, you can just kind of pop one in your mouth and just, you know, let it melt. And like I said, can take about an hour, but usually it's about 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. Just really depends on the body absorption. It is much easier to take. Again, I touched on that. It just melts in your mouth. So if you have the inability to swallow a pill, you know, this is a much more easy way to take your medication. Like I said, you either place it under your tongue, on your tongue, between your cheek and gum, and you just suck on it and it will melt. There are also flavor options that you can add into there. And not gonna lie, pina colada is probably one of our most requested flavors for that medication. You know, have yourself a little pina colada before you go enjoy yourself. <laughs> and then the base that we make it in is kind of like a, a hard candy, like a Jolly Rancher. Um, and it is safe from major allergens besides eggs and derivatives. So it's a pretty safe option. We do have other base options as well if you can't have that because of an egg allergy. But again, with compounding, it is always tailored to the patient. We can always work with you. We can always change it, add in something, take out something. Again, compounding, is tailored to the patient. We make it how you want it to be. So if you have more questions about this, of course, consult with your healthcare provider first before anything else, but also do feel free to give us a call as we can give you much more information about your medications. Make sure you like and subscribe and tune in with me next month. Bye.